Today, I'm going to show you some of my free Google Search Console AI powered strategies to rank higher with SEO. So you don't need to spend money on fancy tools and you can see these strategies are getting good results. For example, for this website. Now, a free extension you can install to your Chrome browser is Harper AI that uses ChatGPT 3.5. And once you've got that installed, you can use some of the strategies I'm going to show you in a second. So the first thing that I would recommend is if you go to your queries and then we'll change this to 500, as you can see. Um, from here, if you sort by impressions and you look at the pages that are getting a lot of impressions, but no clicks, that's usually an indicator that you either need to create a new page for this keyword, or you need to re-optimize the content on that page if it's targeting the right keyword. So for example, this page right here for this query, you can see it's getting clicks and it's getting impressions. That's good to go. But something like this backlink checker, that's getting a ton of impressions, but no clicks. Something needs to be re-optimized there. Now, it could be the page content. It could be the CTR rates. Either way, definitely worth looking through these pages. Then we can do some more keyword research with Harper AI. So if we open that up, we could say, based on page text, give me a list of affiliate articles I could create for my website. And then you'll get a list of related topics and content ideas you could use for new content on your website. So for example, it could be the best backlink checker tools, and then you monetize that with affiliate ads. And they're all tailored to my niche as well. But by doing this, we quickly get a list of the content, the topics, what to cover, and even how to monetize. So for example, you can see here, it recommends using the SEMrush affiliate scheme to monetize the content in a SEO software comparison. And then using Harper AI, you can get a bunch of additional queries. So a ton more free keyword research ideas. And if we check some of them out, for example, like buy, do follow backlinks, and then we plug that into Keyword Explorer, you can see that some of these suggestions are pretty easy. Plus they have a traffic potential and we could realistically rank for that keyword. So very quickly, you can automate your keyword research, get a ton of ideas, and they're all relevant to your business based on the Google Search Console data. Another thing you can do is you can use ChatGPT to link internally to content that's not already indexed. So if we go to our pages section over here, um, we're going to scroll down to discovered but currently not indexed, right? Now, if we look at this list of URLs and we search on Google, obviously it's not been indexed yet, right? That's what Google Search Console is telling us. Now, one of the most common issues with indexing is that the content actually doesn't have any internal links. So if I check a few of these, I can almost guarantee that they don't have internal links pointing to them. So if I'm just going to check on Link Whisper and just double check this. Let's search for the keyword of the page, for example, Academia Backlinks. And you can see it has no inbound internal links. So that could be one of the underlying issues is the fact that these pages don't have any internal links. You can actually check with Link Whisper, but one of the things you can actually do to help this content get indexed is link internally to it from multiple pages on your site. Now, how do you do that? Well, for example, if we take this page and we'll search my site, we'll find opportunities to link internally to it. So if we want to get our content indexed faster, one of the ways we can do it, it's not always guaranteed to work, but we can add more internal links to our pages, which means that signals to Google, this content is more important. Plus it just drives more power to the page, which means more likely to rank. I mean, if you check this particular page, you can see that the UR, which is the URL rating of the page is 0 0.5. That basically means it's very, very low. It's almost zero. And therefore it doesn't really have much strength. Just one thing to note here, this does account for internal and external links. Obviously neither are pointing to this particular page, but essentially if the page's strength is low, that signals are less likely to be indexed. So how can we solve that? Well, we can go onto Google, we can search for all the pages on my site, and you can see there's a hundred results on the page. So what I've said to Harper AI is based on the page text, which pages will be relevant for an internal link to my page. And then I've inserted the page that needs some internal links. Give me the URL so I can quickly edit them. It suggested the URLs, as you can see. And if we take an example page, the first one off the list, for example, this one, we can now open up Harper AI. And then you say, based on page text, give me a paragraph, heading and internal link to the page that you want to link to that I can insert, make it fit naturally within the article, nothing weird or salesy, insert it as an FAQ. And then it's given us an FAQ that we can insert, a paragraph, etc. And then you can just rinse and repeat that for your other pages too. So if we take this page, for example, we'll do the same. We've got the heading, the paragraph, you can edit that before you post it. 
insert it into your page naturally. And you've got your internal links sorted. You've got your orphan pages sorted out and you're more likely to get your pages indexed using AI. You can quickly generate content that updates a page. What you can also do is quickly see which of your money pages are ranking and which ones require more optimization. So if you're in the search results like this, and let's see over the last six months, how much traffic we've received to our money pages. So what we can do is type in new query. We'll filter down to queries containing the word best, because I know that a lot of our money pages include the word best, for example, like best bird feeder, etc. We'll hit apply like this. Now we can see which money pages are actually receiving traffic. So you can see the clicks here, the impressions and the relevant queries. Now, if we actually go to the pages tab over here, we can see which pages are actually receiving clicks. Now there's two things to know here, right? For the money pages that are receiving the most clicks, you want to make sure you've optimized them in the right way. So for example, when people land on the page, most people are not going to read all the content on the page. What they're typically going to do 80% of the time is read like the first paragraph and then click on the most relevant products that they want to buy. They're not going to read through all the reviews because they just want to get a quick answer. So if I look at a page like this, that's receiving a decent amount of traffic, and I know the products on this page go for a reasonable amount. This is well worth optimizing this page. It's getting clicks. These are high value products, etc. If I look on the page, the person has to scroll all the way down to this section right here for me to receive any clicks or any commissions from products. And sometimes they're just not going to do that. So what I can actually do is re-optimize the page and insert like my top three options right here, maybe even above the table of contents. So people can just click straight through to my Amazon affiliate commissions. They don't need to read anything and I make it very easy for them in terms of user experience. So how can I quickly re-optimize this using Harper AI? Well, what I can say is using the Amazon product links on this page, create a table of the top three best products and why, make it nicely designed, include a link to each product, include my Amazon affiliate ID, et cetera. And what it's done is actually created this HTML table right here. You can actually copy the link like so. And if we open that up in a HTML previewer, you can see it's got the H2 right here. And then it's got the products from the page, the description and the Amazon link. Now this CTA for the link is not great. So what we could even do is say, right, change the anchor text to check out reviews on Amazon. Now, if we copy that HTML, we'll paste it back in and you can see that it's included a link here, which is a much better CTA. And then we can quickly edit the article, insert the HTML, re-optimize the page, and we should make more Amazon commissions using this process. And it's very easy to just go through the top pages that are getting clicks on Google Search Console, re-optimize them with Harper, and it's a two minute optimization. Bear in mind, creating a table like this previously would be a massive pain. It would take a lot of editing. You'd have to go through each Amazon affiliate link, etc. And there's plenty of ways you could re-optimize this table to make it more interesting and colorful, etc. Now, what we can also do is reverse engineer which pages are not getting any clicks. And then we know these pages are well worth re-optimizing because they're not getting any clicks, they're not getting any traffic. And that content is just sitting there without any page views, which is a total waste of time. Now, if we remove the filter, and if we look at the pages that are getting the least clicks, obviously these require some re-optimization. So if I open up this page right here, and I'm just changing hosting at the minute, so I need to fix the HTTPS on here. That's another video coming in the future on which host I have. Make sure you subscribe for that. But basically what we're gonna do, and this is very topical, we're gonna audit our content, right? Because we know from Google Search Console which pages are getting the least clicks, and then from there, we can figure out, okay, how do we re-optimize the content? So if we take the core update guidelines, and these are all the quality questions. So we'll copy those from Google. And then we're going to order our content. So we're going to open up Harper. Um, so we'll say, break these guidelines down into quantifiable criteria. And then I've pasted it, the content into Harper, like so. And what I'm going to say is, based on the page content, assign a score or rating based on a scale of one to 10 to quantitatively evaluate how well my content meets each guideline. Basically what we can do is audit the content on this page right here for each of the sections. So content quality, expertise, presentation, comparative questions. And then from here, we'll say, give me some actionable advice on how to improve my content. And then you can see it's given us a bunch of ideas. So for example, call out boxes, and then I've said for this page, give me a HTML call out box with content that I can insert into the page. 
and it's given us the HTML code there. And it's also given us the CSS for the callout box as well that we can quickly insert into the content, re-optimize it, re-index it, and then help it rank. And then basically improve the content, which means better rankings in the long term. And between Google Search Console and Harper AI, we can quickly re-optimize the pages to get very few clicks. And that would lead to more SEO traffic. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you want my free ChatGPT SEO course, then feel free to download that. Link is in the comments. And if you want to book in a free call to discuss how to get more leads, traffic, and sales to grow your business with SEO, then feel free to book that in. Link is in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.